All right, we're here with NCAA championship coach. Not last year, but many times. <laughs> Kathy Reese. Kathy, I tell you what I'm most excited about your season this year is that finally, mistake, correct me if I'm wrong, you have four double headers with the guys. Yeah. That is so great. You don't know how much complaints there were. When that they're at the the same women time. and you know, lacrosse fans are lacrosse fans. That's right. You know, how did that come about? Was it you well, and Coach Tillman? Or? No, we're, and, and we're hoping that's just it, that we'll be able to get a lot of fans out to support both the men and the women this season. Um, they're replacing the field surface down at Field Hockey Lacrosse Complex. So all of our games this season, every single one is moved into Maryland Stadium. So okay. we'll be playing all of our games there. Four happen to be double headers. Um, so we will play, you know, a couple will be picked up. Men and women are versus Michigan on April 6th is one date. And then the Hopkins game. And both of those games will be televised as well. So it's kind of cool to have double headers with the men. On, but again, the Hopkins double header. Well, you know, that's always such a fun rivalry. It's special. It is. You know, and, and that's uh, the last game, I think, of the season before we head into the Big Ten tournament. So a lot of exciting things for lacrosse fans, especially Maryland lacrosse fans, are looking forward to getting a lot of people out to support these programs. The last time the men played, it was 15,000 people. If they put you first, there'll be at least eight or 9,000 people there. Throw them in. Let's go. Would We're that ready. Be great? That would be great. Let's talk about the team. Okay. Uh, some new pieces, a lot of old pieces. You know, when I look and I see that Caroline Steele is still there and Kaylee Hart, it feels like you've been crazy? there a long time. We have a really um, strong senior class this year. So I have a really veteran group. Last year we were a lot younger. This year, a real veteran group. Um, you know, my three captains this year were, you know, all Big Ten players, all Americans, and Julia Bragg, Jen Giles, Megan Taylor. We returned Caroline Steele, Callie Hartshorn, Brindy Griffin. Um, Lizzie Colson, Grace Griffin, we have such people that have a lot of experience under their belt. Um, we added in a transfer this year, it came to us from Canisius, Erica Evans, and she's made a phenomenal impact to the start of, of the season so far. We've only had six days, um, but she's really fitting in and meshing in nicely. So I have a lot of great leadership, people to really set the tone and lead the way from the senior class. Is she, uh, what year is she? Erica, she's in grad school, so is this is her fifth year. She got yep. the one year. Okay. Yeah. Uh, tell me about the kid. I, I, I'm always biased from the Baltimore kids, yep. but we've heard so much about uh, Huffman mm -hmm. from McDonald's. Sure. Is this a work in progress? Or yeah, absolutely. You know, Julie is a great player. She's a, a attacker. Is a really quick step. Huge goal scorer for McDonough throughout her um, high school career. And she comes into us as a, a really shifty attacker that can cause some problems. You know, she can do some great things. I think what's the best part about it is she's in a position to really learn a lot from the upperclassmen who have a lot of experience and, and kind of know what works here and there. So I do, you know, expect to see her this season and expect her to kind of continue to grow and learn as she How evolves you normally and develops bring a college. Yes. You normally bring them along slowly, yep. right? especially when you have a lot of talent. Yes, talent. Exactly, yeah. Talk about the backbone of uh, the goalie of uh, the Oh, and you know, every time people say her name, she makes me smile. Um, she's just fantastic. To have a, a four-year you know, keeper back there who's All-American, All-Conference, was the National Goalie of the Year a couple of years ago, she brings just just such a she's such a huge piece of our team play you know her leadership her her communication skills and of course her ability to save the goal this ball because she's an excellent goalie um, is something that's going to be a huge asset for us coming into the season what's this Maryland team going to look like versus say last year or um, I think you know we, we have a really strong midfield you know this year we're expecting a lot out of our two-way middies you know we did some different things substituting we were heavier on the offense and defensive end in the past so we'll rely a lot on our middies I think our our defense this year is a year older, and that's going to be important for us. Last year, that was new for us. We had a lot of new faces on the field defensively. So I think overall, we're going to you know, be in a, a, a much better team as far as defensively goes and into our transition offense, too, which is going to play a huge part in our play. Terp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. Call Viner Four Gates for all of your IT needs. In the D.C. Baltimore area, you could reach us at 301-251-2900 or on the web at www.vinerforgates.com. Ten's getting better and better. Yep, absolutely. Big Ten's always tough. You know, anytime you play an in-conference opponent, it's a tough game. And and um, you know, we've continued to develop, you know, these these rivals rivals over the past few years. And um, that kind of all happened towards the back end of our season. So as we get started, we're a ways away from Big Ten play. You know, we're really looking at our out-of-conference games where we open with George Mason. Then we head down to Florida, and then we have Carolina at home. Yeah. So we have a lot of these top top opponents coming in hot, you know, in the beginning of the season. You and Tillman, do you 
and spare no you want everybody. Well, you want to learn about your team, too, and I think the way to do that is to challenge yourself and play against the best people in the country. And these teams are great, good competition, they'll teach us a lot about ourselves. So, uh, how's Brian? How's Brian doing? He's great. He's right. great. Brian's great. Kids are great. Um, life's How, are good. Kid? How old are the kids? I now? have um, ninth grade, sixth grade, fifth grade, and first grade. So How many lacrosse players? All of them. And my youngest will start lacrosse this season. So, it'll be an interesting season. You know, Brian has um, his girls lacrosse team. He coaches two, boy, two of our, both of our boys club teams. Right. I've got our season. My daughter has her club season, and then my seven-year-old's going to play too. So we'll have a lot going on this season, a lot of lacrosse, but it's hey, a lot of fun to watch. When you have a lot of things going on, it's great. It's always fun. It's great. All right, good luck this year, Kathy. Thank you.